In this video, we will cover placing appliances and fixtures outside of cabinets and inside of cabinets. Let's begin by placing appliances external to the cabinets. Appliances and fixtures are located in the libraries provided by Chief Architect, including the core catalog, the bonus catalog, and the manufacturer catalog. You can also import symbols from third-party sources. You can save these into your own user catalog. Let me begin by placing a refrigerator from the core catalog. I've expanded the core catalog underneath the architectural folder, appliances, refrigerators, and selected a counter depth refrigerator. This is a non-branded refrigerator, and when I click and place this, you can easily resize it by selecting the side of the object, pulling it to one edge, and then pulling it up to the top. This is a very effective way if any of your clients are gonna be bringing existing appliances into a new project. When you double click and open up this object, on the general panel are the object dimensions. You can resize it specifically within the width, depth, and height inside of the fixture specification. Let's take a look at using a branded appliance. I'll click on the refrigerator, press the delete key, and I'm gonna come over into the search for the library browser. I'll clear out the current refrigeration folder, and I'm gonna type in a part number for a specific branded product. And as you expand the manufacturer catalog, you can see the product inside of their folder. And I'm gonna select the glass door version of the refrigerator, come over here and place the refrigerator. Let me place a dishwasher in this opening. I'll come over, clear the search for the refrigerator. I'll type in dishwasher, and then I'm gonna come down into the manufacturer catalogs. I'll come down into a particular manufacturer, look in their dishwasher category, and then I'll select the first offering inside of that folder, and I'm gonna come over and place the dishwasher in this opening. In this case, you'll notice that the countertop was automatically generated above the dishwasher. When it's in between two cabinets, the countertop will automatically generate for an appliance or a fixture. Let's move on and take a look at placing a fixture inside of a cabinet. And in this case, I wanna go through and place a sink in this cabinet over here. So I'll go ahead and clear out the search term in the library and I'm gonna type in the word Strive for the product name and then we'll come down into the manufacturer catalogs into the particular folder for sinks and then we'll find the sink that we're looking for to place it. Once you locate the specific object that you want now I can move over, hover over the cabinet. You kind of see my cursor has uh, selected a snap point on here. Usually when I find that, I can just click on the cabinet and place the sink. Let's tilt our view up here just a little bit and take a look at one other option with the sink in here. You can select these sinks. I'm gonna click once. You can see the bounding box has selected the entire cabinet. If I press the tab key, I've now been able to select the sinkhole. I can hover my mouse over the center move handle. You see the fourplex change when I move over the center move handle. And now you can move this around. If you hold your control key down on a PC or your command key on a Mac, you can be very precise in your movement. You can also pull this forward. And let me turn off my snap so I can pull this forward. And if you press the tab key while you're moving it, you can be very precise in the distance in here. If I wanted to move that forward exactly one inch, I could reposition that sink exactly where I want inside of the cabinet. You'll find a little more precise results if you do that in a floor plan view. You could use your temporary dimensions and position it exactly where you want. Now for the next item, Let's go ahead and this will not necessarily go inside the cabinet, but I'm gonna grab a faucet and I'll change the search term in here. I'm gonna search for a folded up faucet. This is one that I have in my user catalog. So I'm gonna come over here, grab this faucet. Again, you may have better results placing this in a floor plan view. Let me actually switch over into the floor plan view. And I'm gonna take that and place it. You can see it's kind of snapping to the wall. Once I've got it selected, I might slide that up just a little bit. And while it's selected, I'm gonna use the center tool in my lower edit menu, center object, hover over the sink, you see my center indicator, click, and now I have that exactly centered. 
You can also put in soap dispensers and other fixtures as we have just placed the faucet. Let's go back into the 3D view and now you can see exactly where that faucet is placed. All of these objects as I double click and open up the faucet you can control the positioning of it. We saw it with the refrigerator resizing the object dimensions. Below that is positioning. If you want to adjust this, if you have a different countertop or you need to lower it, you'll find that information inside of the general panel. Apron sinks work a little bit differently where you can lower the height of the cabinet and place the sink on top or you can insert it into an opening. You can learn more about this process in a separate apron sink video. Let's move on and take a look at inserting appliances and fixtures into cabinets and I'll begin with a microwave drawer. For the microwave drawer, I've done a search. It's in a manufacturer folder. Once I've located it, I can come over and I can click on the cabinet to insert it inside. And the program does a pretty good job of placing it. I always like to verify that it meets the specifications from the manufacturer. So what I'll do is double click to open up the cabinet. Then I'll select the face item by clicking on it. In the face item itself, I'll come down and look at the item height. In this case, you can see that it's 15 and 3 16 Very close. The manufacturer indicates on their website that it's 15 and an eighth. So you can make any adjustments you need into the object right here. And then you can verify that the cabinet meets the specification. Now immediately to the right, I've created another cabinet with an appliance opening. Let's take a look at this. There's a face item that I've just used as appliance. You can see the item height is 15 and an eighth. Sometimes I'll do this and then set my dimension defaults to only pick up the openings and then I'll do an elevation view and dimension and make sure that I have a view for specs that I can share with any of the partners for installation. Once you have the appliance set up with the correct item height, you can go down to the appliance door drawer specify open up the library browser, type in the part number in here, you should be able to select it, click OK, insert it into the cabinet, and now you can see the microwave is in the cabinet. They look slightly different. This one appears to be sticking out. If you take a look at the cabinet itself, on the cabinet front and face, there's a separation that is just slightly above the drawer, so you can see that separation. So depending on how you want that, if I remove the separation, click the delete key, click OK. Now the two look identical. Let's take a look at adding two appliances into the same cabinet. I'm going to zoom in to a tall cabinet and I've got a situation where I want a double oven and a warming drawer inside of the same cabinet. I would recommend when you do this process to open up the cabinet. I'm just going to double click on this tall cabinet and I've created two face items for the double oven being one of them and then the second appliance item being the warming drawer. I've already sized these based on the specs for the manufacturer that I'm going to use. Let's begin down at the bottom for the warming drawer. I'm going to come down and use the appliance drawer drawer specify. And then up in the search, I'm going to type the part number. And then once I locate the specific part number that I'm after, I'll click OK that will insert it into that opening. I'll repeat the process for the double oven. Click on the appliance opening face type, come down to the appliance door drawer specify, then I'm going to type in the part number that I'm after, locate it, click OK, insert it into the tall cabinet, and that's the process of adding multiple appliances or fixtures into a single cabinet. If you need to clear those items, you can go back into the cabinet, select the face item, down underneath the door drawer specify is the option to clear it, remove it out. Also, for the sink object, slightly different, let's go back into the sink cabinet. On the accessories panel, you'll see the top appliance fixture, see the item that is selected. If I want to remove it, I can select none and that will remove it. Cancel that. And like we did earlier, you can also click on the cabinet, press the tab key. When it's selected, you could use the delete option and remove the sink as well. That wraps up this video on appliances and fixtures. To learn more, please see the built-in help file as well as our other videos. And thanks for watching.